Megaloceros giganteus, commonly known as the Irish elk, were a species from the family Cervidae that went extinct about 7,000 years ago. Their common name is misleading, however, because the elks were not only found in Ireland, but all across Europe, in Northern Africa, and parts of China. They are also not actually related to any living species of elk. Their closest relative is the common fallow deer. The elk stood about 6.9 feet tall and weighed 700 kilograms, or 1,500 pounds. Their antlers alone weighed 88 pounds. Irish elks lived in temperate grasslands where vegetation was fresh and plentiful. The elks were herbivores like their deer relatives and had only very large predators due to their massive size. They were very well adapted for running and would use their antlers for defense as well as in competition with other male elks. Evidence suggests that the elks lost and grew back their antlers in correlation with mating seasons. From this correlation, scientists first theorized that sexual selection resulted in the massive size of the elk's antlers. Female deer were attracted to elks with larger antlers, eventually leading to an evolutionary trend that caused the antlers to get bigger and bigger and bigger. This theory, also called the orthogenesis theory, stated that eventually the antlers became so large they began to hinder survival by causing the elks to get trapped in things like trees, eventually leading to extinction. Scientists now critique this theory as not being backed by enough biological evidence and suggest that extinction happened over time due to a combination of factors including decreased nutrients related to climate change, human impact in the form of hunting, and the already proposed problems associated with their giant antlers. If the Irish elk were to be introduced today, I think they would initially survive due to the fact that there are far less predators large enough to target the animals as prey, and there are now enough nutrients available to support the species. However, when taking into consideration the fact that the large open spaces the elks require are being destroyed at incredible rates, they would face significant struggles very soon.